channel pals, this video is going to be a blind taste test of milk here in Portugal. You can only get hold of UHT milk really here, the fresh stuff just isn't on the shelves so we have been drinking UHT since we got here, mainly this Mio Gordo stuff that we keep in a glass bottle, but I wanted to try something different, picked up this Biological the other day in the supermarket and Jen says well why don't you try one of these ones as well. Before you know it, we had six and thought we'd decide which one is our favorite, maybe it's the best value as well. We've been looking for a raw milk supplier here in Portugal, but because you can't really get all the fresh stuff, the raw stuff is even more sparse if you can get hold of it at all. If anybody knows where you can get it in Portugal, then let us know as we would like to get a source of this. So yeah, UHT milk is pretty much what you can get hold of here and it's what we're going to be drinking until we can get hold of some raw produce or we can potentially produce our own. So we've got six different types of milk here. This one in a really posh bottle, Martinal. This is Little's Own Bio Organic. Agros, I'm not sure exactly where in Portugal is. There's a few different places called Agros, but Got a big cow on the front. This is the biologic pasture fed cows from the Azores. This one is also from the Azores, new Azores. And this is the one that we've usually been buying because of the price more than anything, but we'll see how it compares in taste. All semi skimmed, can't get whole milk and obviously skimmed versions, but there is more options for semi skimmed. So I'm gonna blindfold myself now. Jen's gonna pour them out and I'm gonna mark them from one to six. Then Jen's gonna do the same and we'll see how the scores compare. Watch them taste all the same. <laughs> Do you want some milk in between? I mean, water in between. I'll have some milk in between, yeah. <laughs> water in between. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm So what did you think of this one? I like that one better than the first. Mmm, so this is top so far. Creamier. Creamier. It's quite similar to the first one. So, I like that one better than the first one. So at the minute we've got number one, number two, number three. That's second. Second best? Mm. Mm -hmm. So at the minute we've got first, second, third and fourth. Let's try the first again. Coming in at number one. What was it? Was the, the most Porsche. expensive one. <laughs> the most expensive and in the fanciest bottle. Oh, I've got, there I've you got go. Expensive taste. Number one. Mm. Coming in at number two was the little biological. In at number three, the Azores. Number four, the other Azores. Number five. A gauze little smiley cow. And last place was the one that we've been drinking the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Do Granted. Come on, we've got to 
keep this down below a 20 minute video. <laughs> yeah, <you're crying> <laughs> You're milking this. <laughs> I don't know. So we have in last place mm -hmm. this one, second last, this one. Mm -hmm. What we've been drinking usually. In fourth, we have Bio from the Azores, pasture fed. Then the Bio Little. Second was the Posh. Nosh and number one was the mm. Nova Azores. So, them two in the middle are our favourite choices. Where did you put that one? I put that one number three. Mm. I put so that you one that ahead. The boards are in, the scores are down, and here's the rundown. Coming in at first place, the Posh bottle, Ma Matinal. One euro nine cents so not the most expensive bottle of milk second most expensive coming in at first place with 11 points a close third with nine points little's bio at 99 cents a litre just shy of one euro fourth place with a measly six points and the most expensive milk per litre at one euro 29 cents is the pasture raised bio Azores milk and a joint last you get what you pay for with the measly three points each joint place the agros at 80 cents per litre and the terra de vento at 78 cents a litre the cheapest ones come in last place so there you have it potentially the best value is the new Azores milk at 85 cents a litre, but our favourite, if you want to pay a little bit more, is the Matinelle in the really posh bottle. There you have it. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. We have been testing out lots of different foods since we got out here because you can't get hold of the stuff that you get hold of in the UK. Our diets have changed, milk was a big one for us, and now we know which ones we are going to go for. Hope you enjoyed watching. This is just a little fun instalment and looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers. So a little bit of research on our two favorite milks. Checked out this website called Lactogal with the Matinelle brand on there. Doesn't really give any information on how Matinelle is produced, whether the cows are grass fed and obviously what the practices are for inducing extra hormones stuff in the cows i don't think that europe has as much of a problem as maybe places like the us but we want to make sure that the cows are as well looked after as possible and obviously that isn't getting passed on through their milk so couldn't really find anything that we wanted to on the matinal products but on the lact a cause website which has lots of different brands managed to find some information on the Nova a horse milk that we drank in this video the one that we got weren't actually pasture raised but the brand does actually do the 365 days pasture raised cows and they do different products such as butter and milk which we also use and I think that we will be looking for 365 days a year pasture raised cows the Azores is notorious for looking after the cows well. The Holstein is one of the third breeds of cow over there. So this is what we will be looking for to see us over until we can source some raw produce.